All right, so to begin with, we're going to go over uh, today's uh, warm-up questions. And if you, how many people actually answered the warm-up questions so far? Yeah. Okay. All right, so waiting for it to pop up on our screen real quick. So what I'm going to do is before, before I explain the project, I'm going to let uh, Coach go ahead and go over the, uh, the warm-up with us. All right. For um, the initial value, can somebody tell me where, where the initial value, what does the initial value mean um, for, you know, for one of these word problems? Somebody. I guess the starting point. Say that again, Jakar. The starting point. The starting point. So the starting point for this graph, where do we look for look at for the starting point? For the y intercept. The y intercept. All right. So um, let me look over here, Gabe. And if we look at our y intercept, what would be the beginning value? What would be the starting point? What would be the initial value? Zero, zero point ten. Not point ten, but just um, zero ten is the y intercept, but which one of those numbers are, are we looking at, the y value or the x value as far as the initial value? So out of those two, out of zero or 10, which one is our initial value? 10. 10, 10, thank you so much. All right, on the next part, it says, what is the maximum value? Go ahead, Elijah. Uh, the maximum value would be uh, uh, 90. 90, all right. And where did you find that at? In the what? At the top of the point. Yeah, what, what's another name for that point? Go ahead, say it. Oh, wait, no. I thought it was the maximum. It is called the maximum. Anybody, what's another name for the point, the maximum value? Go ahead, um, Avery. Uh, I would say it is the Y exit. The Y what? Exit. Oh. Not the y axis. Well, we look though. It's the y value of. Go ahead, Tommy. What is the name of that point? We look right here. The maximum point. Is another name for the maximum point is called what? Oh, the uh, vertex. Thank you, sir. The vertex. Oh. 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 Yeah. We know. We know. So anytime that you hear the words maximum or minimum. We're talking about the vertex, and we talked about the vertex a long, long, long time. So, um, and then the next part, it says, what is the solution? Well, for this problem, it's really two solutions, but we're looking at this as if it was a real world um, quadratic equation. So what is the solution to this problem? Uh, Kyrie, what's the solution to the problem? I would like to ask for help. No, this is not, uh, who <laughs> wants to be a millionaire? <laughs> so what did you put down? Oh, um, I was having a hard time on it, so I didn't really answer the question, so I was waiting for people to go over it so I could find out the process. Oh, no problem, no problem. Well, help us do this for me, so that way you can see the information that's going in your ears right now with those headphones. <laughs> I mean, those earbuds, take those out for me. You got, you got it, boss. Because you got two different things going in. Uh, somebody, um, somebody over here raise their hand. Well, can somebody just give him another name for it first, Coach, and then see if he can get it? Yeah. What's another oh. name for a solution? The answer. <laughs> out, out of the things that, characteristics that we talked about. Oh. The time? No. That would Well, yeah, you can't determine the time from the solutions. Well, go ahead, Ethan. The x-intercepts. The x-intercepts. The x-intercepts are our solutions. Does that help you with this problem, Kyrie? Yes. yes. All right, Kyrie, tell me what our solu what the solution would be to this problem. 8.423. I'm sorry, I said that wrong. 8.243. 8 8.243. So that would be a solution um, to this problem, all right? Um, and I think that is the last. Is that the last question? No. Ah, uh, and our last question. So, Coach is going to um, help me with this. We gave you a graph, right? He's just going to point. He gave you a graph. You'll pass this up to Coach. Um, 
Okay, you pass okay, it. Okay, get this. Oh. All right. Coach. Um, this. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So it asks you, what is the um, the maximum? I mean, not what's the maximum. The last question asks. What is the value of y when x is 6? Uh, uh, anybody but Jakari. What is the maximum value? Uh, no. What is the value of y when x is 6? Can you go uh, over? All right. Oh, you got me on this one, Kyrie? I think I got the answer. All right. What do you got for me on that answer? Uh, 70. You got 70. Tell me how you got it. Well, so I went to the x-intercept, right? And I, I went to 6, uh -huh. and then I went up until the, the long <laughs> intercepts where 6 is right, and then I went left, and then I counted, and uh, it was set, it was uh, 70. 70. Yep. He, he messed up the point where the, where, um, the graph, uh, the coordinate of the graph is 6. So all he did was just trace the graph until he got to um, 6. Now, are there any questions about that? Because what your assignment, what coach is going to go over for you on your assignment, um, that's why that's what you guys are going to be we're working on the different characteristics. All right. All right. Give me one second. All right. So you're gonna you you all have been given graph paper, right? And so you're going to make a graph similar to this. But when you make your graph, what I want is only the quadrant that you're going to be using. I want to be a large graph. You don't have to make an entire x and y axis. You do, but you want to make the majority of it. Um, this is just a, a sample larger than this, all right? So each of you have been given, yes, sir? Can I use the, can you use the ruler to wrap the graph down? Um, it, yes. Yes, because I'm a chair. All right, so each of you, each group, it's one, two, three, four, five, six groups. I want you to take a look at the, 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 the math word problem that I've, that I've given you. Now, with this, you will need your Desmos calculator. It's going to be the same as we've been doing it before, okay? As we've been doing since um, we've been going over these examples for this week. I'm going to give you one second. And you do have a rubric, all right? So in this, there are three parts to your rubric. One, you're going to create a graph based on the quadratic equation that you have on, on your paper. The second, you're going to list the characteristics, the important characteristics of the graph. You remember, we just did that here. All right? And then third, you're going to write a summary of the outcome of the, the actual word problem. All right? And so the first two are going to be 25 points, and the last one is going to count 50 points. And this is a project that you're going to do together. So we expect um, everybody to interact together on this particular project. And then um, what I like to see, I'm going to walk around and evaluate and see um, how we're moving with creating our own graph, just like this. And we're going to be at answering the similar, similar questions, OK? And so, um, can I piggyback off what you're saying, Coach? Yes, sir. All right, so if Coach, um, so Coach is just giving you everything, but we want to, you guys are going to be the first one that actually gets the chance to complete it in class. Um, what we want to do, well, the first part, we want to make sure when you write your summary that you give all the details. So say if I use this as a real-world um, problem up here. And we look at this. You have very important um, points, but we don't want to say the y-intercept is 10. What does the y-intercept mean on this? So um, let's say my problem is dealing with um, dealing with, let me see, dropping a, dropping a rock off of a building or whatever. Dropping a rock off of a building. Instead of saying my y-intercept is 10, I would start my summary off. Um, Tyrone is, drop, uh, is dropping a, not a rock, but a, dropping a paper airplane off of a building or throwing a, a paper airplane up in the air off of a building, just per se. Um, he, was ten, he was 10 feet above the ground 
um, when he threw the plane. That is my, you know, initial starting point or something like that. He threw the plane. Um, after four seconds, the plane reached this maximum height um, of 90 feet after four seconds. And then the plane um, started to descend to the ground and hit the ground after eight seconds. That's my summary. I'm not looking for a two-page, we're not looking for a two-page two summary. Yeah. We're just looking for the characteristics, all right? We're looking to see what does it mean, what does the y-intercept mean in your problem? What does the... Um, what does the vertex mean in your problem? What does the x-axis mean in your problem, all right? Make sure that you include all of that in your summary. Like, how long do you want our summary? Say again? How long do you want our summary? Um, it could be... It's a paragraph? Like a paragraph. No more than, like you say, we don't want to go into the full page. Just summarize exactly um, what each function, each each section of the function of the problem means. We don't want you to put in the, we, we don't want you to say, uh, for instance, this problem has minus 16 t squared. That should be in there. You should, rep, what, what each thing in the function represents should be in there. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So you said on the paper, don't, don't let x be larger than the y. So if you were no, no, no. I want you to draw the x, y, x, y axis, but similar to this one. So I don't want you to draw, use the whole page to make a graph. So you're gonna only, once you put your your problem into the Desmos graphing calculator, when you calculate, I want you to only use the portion of the quadrant that you need. In other words, you don't have to show all four quadrants. <laughs> Just that quadrant is really shown. So, so if your problem is only using the first quadrant, then you only need to draw basically the first, the first quadrant. If your problem is using the second quadrant, that's all that you need. And remember, in most of the problems, what's going to be the ground? Anybody remember? What's going to be the ground? If we're using the problem, the x-axis. So you don't really have to go much further than the x-axis. All right? So everybody's good? All right, let's start.